Hickok 45 here with all my big Colt single actions. Peacemaker. <laughs> Smoke some pot first. Bitty holes. That's not much of a peacemaker, is it? I don't know how much peace you're going to make with this thing. Let's shoot some little bitty bullets. Let's go here and look at it and talk about it. But it is a Colt. And you might be able to make a lot of peace with that little bullet. Yeah, it's a 22 long rifle. Some of you might not have even realized that this revolver comes in 22 caliber because it is a Colt and it's called a peacemaker, just like this one. Now this one makes a lot of peace because look at that bullet, <laughs> 45 Colt. That one could make a lot of peace or a lot of trouble, right? All right, and they do look alike. That's because they're made by the same company. This one in uh, 1956 and this one in 1975. All right, that's over, what, 20 years later. Yeah, good math, huh, for a Kentucky boy. So, you might not have been aware of it, but uh, this is a firearm that has been out there since, well, a long time. You know, Colt made 22 long rifle revolvers like this since uh, the 50s. Ruger, really, we owe it to Ruger. I owe it to Ruger. Some people wouldn't care whether Colt made them or not. Ruger's the ones who brought these guns back in the early 50s. Uh, because you know, Colt had suspended uh, manufacture after wo World War II, and Ruger started making the single sixes and, and even the big bore, uh, you know, single actions, cowboy guns. And here Colt is just sitting back on their heels watching Ruger make all this money in all these Western movies and Western TV series, the riflemen, everything else. Uh, people just soaking it up and living the good old Wild West days. And they're having to, if they go to the store and buy one, it's going to be a Ruger. It's really a sad situation. Well, Colt got on on the job there and started making them again. And they also started making the, you know, the 22s, of course, because they're more affordable. Well, this, you know, this was made in 1975. I have always kind of wanted one. And I just... I don't know, always passed on it or never, I've seen them at gun shows. You don't see them that often, but uh, I just never have, I guess, ever owned one that I can recall. <laughs> and uh, I've known people, friends that have had them and they made it in a new frontier, which had adjustable sights on it, just like the, the, the big Colts, uh, now not back in the 1800s, but that's why I call it the new frontier. Uh, when did they start making the big board new frontier? Probably in the, around, I don't know, 70s or something as well, I guess. But they made them with adjustable sights and a bigger sight on the front. And uh, you know me, I've never been uh, a fan of adjustable sights on a Colt single action. It's just not the same. It's like putting a red dot on a flintlock for me because I'm a purist. <laughs> so anyway, uh, first of all, now this is one I bought. This belongs to me. But I, so... These are beautiful firearms as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they're historic in a way, or they represent history. Uh, even though this one was made, this old, 40, I'm not going to talk about it a lot. You know, you've probably seen it. The 1956 model, 45 Colt. See the difference in the, the chambers in these two. This one still has the empties in it. But, uh, yeah, virtually unchanged. Now, I say virtually, I mean, there's some changes. Since 1873, they're just basically the same firearm, you know, essentially. And uh, it's cool that they came out with one in 22. Let's get the empties out of that one. And you notice I just loaded five for a reason. I know I could load six, I'm at the range, but I don't want to get into bad habits. Okay. Uh, I'm not in a hurry. I want to fire a lot of bullets as many as I can real quick with one reload. I'll go in the house and get my M17 sig or my glock 17 or something like that okay so uh yeah i load five and it has the same action as the old colts that's the thing even though it's, it's newer it's not too new it doesn't have the action like the ruger put on theirs with the transfer bar or anything like that hammer block it's uh it's just like that one you uh, bring it back to half cock to load it in fact won't we do that half cock and I'm gonna load one, skip one, and load four. Okay, the cowboy load, the cowboy method. <laughs> There's still people I see occasionally scoff at that, like that's just something we made up and 
1990 or something, you know, this, this load. I'm afraid not. They not. People who, who know guns and new guns, they knew to do that. They're going to carry it at all. Okay, so I just brought that down on an empty chamber. Uh, so it works very well. Let's shoot something else. Oh, look at those three targets lined up. You really should shoot a tin can if you have a uh, 22, right? Like that. Put a hole in it, I think. Oh, just didn't knock it off. It was empty. That one was empty too. Knocked it. That one's not empty. <laughs> yeah. How about that stop sign? Let's put one right in the middle. Boom. That wasn't. Well, it shoots a little high. That's about how high it shoots. Okay. I was holding, I think, in the middle. It's empty. But uh, it does print high. Prints high with a uh, 22 long rifle. It prints a little less high. Uh, otherwise known as lower. <laughs> it doesn't print quite as high with the magnums. It does have the magnum cylinder. So uh, the main thing with these guns, uh, I have uh, I don't know, a couple of Colts that shoot high, and most of them, I think if we took every uh, your Colts and mine and, and we all took some shots, we would find they print a little bit higher than point of aim. I think they they mean to design them that way, to regulate them that way, I think, to shoot a little high. That, that was the, although I'll occasionally get a, uh, a seven and a half inch model, especially, that will just shoot right on. I have one, that one shoots a little high. I have two uh, five and a half inchers that shoot pretty close to right on, just a little bit high. My two nickel Colts pretty much shoot right on that I used in a lot of cowboy action matches. So I've used all of them almost in cowboy action matches at some point. So anyway, that's that's what that's about. And I also don't want to freaking working on that. So I had these two rounds out here again, just to you know, have a little fun. The difference between 45 Colt and 22, that is dramatic, is it not? <laughs> that is dramatic. For uh, firearms that are kind of the same size, but not quite. These uh, Peacemaker 22s, as they're called, and that's what it says right on the barrel. Peacemaker 22. They were 7 8 scale, okay? So they're 7 8 of the full size Colt single action. And they were designed to be like the big boys, all right? You know, they came out with these, uh, the Frontier Scout in the 50s, made them up until I think 1969, if I'm correct. And you've seen one of those here. Maybe I'll link to that one too. Uh, that one was not mine, uh, but uh they were that was i guess the first one they made in reaction to uh ruger you know coming out with the single actions they had a lot of alloy in it a lot of alloy though with the whole frame and everything and it, it, it was okay but i think there was some resistance to that through the years of uh, people you know if you wanted to buy a colt you know a gun that was like a colt single action that one uh, to me it's a nice gun but it, it just comes off as a, I don't know, a different brand or something. But anyway, in 1970, well, 1969, I think they ended the Frontier Scout and they started making this, the Peacemaker 22. And they did a much better job of duplicating, as you can see, right? I brought one out with a similar grips and, and finish and everything, just so you can see. Now this one has a seven and a half inch barrel. This one has a six inch barrel, but they're just really, really similar. The only area where they uh, they kept the alloy was on the grip frame, trigger guard in this area. It's all one piece, so it's a little different. You know, you got two pieces here. If you've ever seen me take one of these apart, this and, and the back strap are one piece. Then the trigger guard is a separate piece, goes down to this screw, uh, and it's steel. This is all one piece, uh, the trigger guard and all that, uh, and it's alloy. But other than that, and, and you know, it's not a distasteful, really. The steel, 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 color case hardening, the nice color case hardening. So you really feel like you got a Colt in your hand. Pretty cool, huh? Let's shoot it again, how's that? And you know, it has uh, an extra cylinder with it. I think basically in 1970 when they started making these, I think most of them, if not all, came with the 22 Magnum uh, cylinder. As I've said before, and I've pointed out before, because I get that question a lot, you you can't really interchange the ammo, okay? In this, I don't know what would happen in that magnum. You wouldn't hurt anything, but I don't think they would fire reliably. See, it's the way it's made, uh, the 22. You need the, uh, the magnum ammo, 
And then in this one, it won't even chamber in the cylinder like that, so you won't even go in. So you, you're not gonna blow anything up, of course, because of that. But you need, goes back to the video we did, use the right ammo, it's the name of the video, I think, because I get a lot of questions about that kind of thing. Can you use 30 caliber in this gun and, and whatnot? So for new people, just keep that in mind. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a couple of uh, the magnets before I let you go. First, let's shoot something a little bit further away, okay? So I don't know what else I can tell you about this. You know, from uh, 70 to 77, they made the, or 79, 77, I think it was. And the new Frontier model with the adjustable sights, they brought it back in 82 for a few years. But I think it was never received quite as well. Uh, I don't know, if I want to target, granted, with adjustable sights, for example, with this one, like it shoots a little high. If I had sights on it, I would adjust for that. I'd move that rear sight down a little bit if, if it's possible and I would get it hitting right on okay uh, but again you know this is you know I can get me a target 22 if I'm worried about that all right I would rather have something with the same lines and the smooth frame and, and all that a real Colt single action you know uh, so I can be a cowboy this is a great firearm if you like the cowboy guns quote unquote you don't want the recoil you've got uh, a young person in your house uh, whatever, a new shooter, whatever, uh, this is great. Or just anybody, experienced shooter. It's, it's the, the feel, and it feels good. This one is in great shape. I, I was really happy to find that because it, it's in great shape. Feels good. It's got enough heft to it. Just to, <laughs> yeah, man. And it's a single action. Well, let's put one on the gong if we can. We got to make sure we hit the gong before y'all go away. Uh, let's see. All right. Nice. Maybe I can put one on uh, the ram over there. Uh, I think I heard it. Let me try the buffalo. Yeah, I think I heard steel, unless I'm making that up. How about that swinging plate? It makes more noise over there. Hanging plate. Yeah, makes more noise. Uh, especially when you hit it. Have you noticed that? How about, oh, how about an orange two liter? Do I have any more ammo? I think I'm out, right? Good way to test your flinch though. Sometimes I'm worried that I'm not flinching enough and I have to test it and make sure. All right, let's shoot another round. I'm not gonna do a lot of shoot. It, it is a single action and it takes longer to load it. Now when you're out plinking, for doing a video, maybe I don't get as much shooting in, but when you're at the range, you're just having fun shooting, which is what we do. Uh, you know, don't worry about how many rounds you get down range and savor the moment, savor the loading, savor the unloading, enjoy the firearm. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes a firearm that you don't put that many rounds through, it could be the most fun, like a single shot, sharps or one of these. All right, so now let's shoot some orange two liters. I uh, should not have missed that. You know why? Because the windage is not off. That was just me. <laughs> hey, look at that. Tried to attack us. How about that green one here? Woo! And that root beer. Or whatever it is. <laughs> hey, how about this one? I think I'm empty. Yeah. So... so uh, <laughs> They're just fun. They're fun to shoot. No recoil. Anybody can shoot that with a six inch barrel. It came in a four, I think originally in a four and three quarter, like the big Colts. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, four and three quarters, six, and then seven and a, and, and a half, like this one. Okay. And then they went to, instead of the four and three quarters, I understand they went to a 4.4 inch barrel for whatever reason. Maybe it matched up the ejector rod better or something. So, but this one is a, a six inch barrel. Okay, so, empties the same way, half cock. You know, you've seen me do this with the big Colts many times. And punch those out. Remember, if you, you get a knack for that, you don't scratch your gun up. It's not that awkward like it is in the Westerns. Not, doesn't have to be that awkward. All right, so let's take that cylinder out. Notice the uh, 22 long rifle cylinder is fluted. For you folks in Kentucky, those are flutes, okay? That's fluted. <laughs> and the 22 Magnum is not fluted. 
okay those are the non flutes right there smooth cylinder <laughs> all right so all you have to do is change out the cylinder this is pretty cool this uh, convertibility uh, feature same gun same mechanism just put the base pin back in and make sure it didn't go in too far and you're good to go all right now we shoot magnums shoot a couple of these all right so these are much bigger for those who don't know you know you got a you know 22 magnum versus 22 long rifle it's it's a bigger bigger round and much more velocity and i don't know if we get in the box what kind of velocity we're getting out of these but it's uh they truck on along 40 grain bullet you know 1880 a muzzle velocity i'm not sure what firearm barrel length that's out of but 1880 it's a lot more than 20 long rifle okay 22 magnum skip one shoot a few of these and let y'all get to dinner get back to your fried possum or anchovy pizza whatever it is you're eating yeah okay i always want to go past that for some reason okay Let's shoot a two liter with one of these. You think it'll make a, a difference? I don't know. We'll learn together. Boom! <laughs> Who knows? How about now I'm gonna shoot on that stop sign and uh, I'm gonna hold right in the middle. Wow, <laughs> those are louder. So I don't think they print quite as high. Uh, let's shoot the cowboy with one of these. No, yeah, wait a minute. Let's shoot a bowling pin. Oh man, those ears are tight. Don't tell me I missed that thing. Wow. <laughs> I think John glued him down or something. Do I have another one? If so, let's try the gong. No, didn't have another one. Okay, we'll load it one more time. So those are magnums, and uh, that makes it pretty nice. Like I say, the, if you wanted to hunt with something like this, you could. I'm sure a lot of people have. 22 magnums uh, figure out where they hit I wouldn't have a you know problem with this uh, use Kentucky windage Kentucky elevation you just uh, hold it you know allow for that uh, that height it's going to print higher than your side a little bit and once you shoot a firearm a while you you just you know get used to that all right now these are the last six rounds or five so I'm sorry don't anybody cry I might Okay, let's put one of these on the gong. This should be a click, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could hear it ring. It's hard for me to hear it ring. Maybe easier for you all. Okay. The bullet gets there so fast. I've discussed that before. Now the cowboy needs one. <laughs> He needs another one, I can tell. Yeah, boy, how about a third one? Yeah, nice little gun. How about this bowling pin with the wrong hand? <laughs> how about I'm empty? <laughs> oh, well. So, uh, let's jack them out of there before I talk to you. Send you on your way. So I don't know what else I have forgotten to tell you about it. Uh, there's there's history I probably can go into as usual, but uh, you know when it was made, when they were made, and uh, that's the important thing. And that they're actually out there on the secondary market, of course. They're not making them now, but if you uh, and and the other thing is they're they're not as expensive as those things. I remember like seems like as recent as 10 years ago i know 15 or 20 you would see these at, in gun shows and in really good shape and they'd be three four five hundred dollars so they're more expensive than that generally now but uh they're they're not like two thousand like like those uh, generally can be okay or more uh so i don't know just an option it is a colt it's a real colt and there's slam fire walking around the yard up there so uh Hide, he hides the other side of the house primarily when we're, we're firing. But um, uh, so so this is something that's out there if you're not aware of it, that they actually made these and it's called the Peacemaker 22. As I understand it, uh, I read that 
Kittridge, which was a major distributor of Colt firearms back in the day, that uh, they actually coined that term, Peacemaker. You know, and they're helping market it, the Colts and all that, and how much truth there is to that. But uh, they were in Cincinnati, Ohio, and, uh, and that's where that Peacemaker name came from. So again, I don't know how much peace you can make with a 22, but uh, you never know, you never know. Pretty neat uh, little firearm. The, the cool thing about it is it's, it's very much like that one. Loads the same way, same operation. If you don't consider yourself, uh, if you consider yourself a little bit fumble fingered, bull in the china shop, and you're not interested in the history much, you probably don't want it as much. Get a Ruger, get a firearm, a later Colt, or well, I don't know about a later Colt, but a Ruger, so there's some really fine single action 22s out there where you've got the transfer bar and it's just safer. You can go load six and you don't have to worry about that half cock business and, and all that about going off half cock, you know, in terms of loading or unloading, uh, you know, the five rounds versus six, and you know, none of that matters. It's all out the window with, with those firearms. So, so again, I, you just get one of those if you, if you don't have an appreciation or a strong enough interest, you know, in the, in the history of, of the, the original, you know, single actions. So I think it's pretty cool, kind of like it, and uh, be a great firearm for my uh, grandson someday to, to try out, right? before he goes to the big boar stuff. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.